So in my last two videos, I showed basic tweening and then also a couple of other things you can do with um, using tweening and animated GIFs in Photoshop. And now I wanna to put together a sequence of those things that looks more like an actual GIF or telling a story. So what I've done so far is I have a file that's 300 pixels by 300 pixels. And I made sure to turn off my artboards when I created this, otherwise moving things off the screen starts messing with it. And so I started by bringing in a few items. What I'm thinking of doing here is I'm going, I've got my spaceship. I'm going to have my um, spaceship fly in. I'm gonna have it send a beam down, collect the cow, and then fly off. So I have a few things in place. Notice I have a very basic background. Um, with GIFs, I could, I could get a little bit more complicated, um, but it's best not to use um, full images, if you can help it, full photos. For size-wise, any solid color is stored best with a GIF. Um, if, you, if you're not concerned about the size of your GIF, um, you could go ahead and use an actual image, that'd be fine. But what I did is I have my um, each individual element cut out. So I have my um, saucer here. So I'm gonna go ahead and label that in my, my layers. And I have um, a few cows. And so the cow that I'm going to be moving is um, this one. And then I've got some background. So something I'm still missing is my beam. And then I need, I need a, a mask so that it doesn't um, show up my beam or my um, cow as it goes up into the spaceship. So what I'm gonna do before I even animate anything is kind of preview how things are layered and so I can plan this out and make sure that I have all my elements created in my layers before I animate anything. It will just make your life a lot easier. So let's see, I'm gonna have my saucer fly in, so I'm gonna tween it there. And then I need a beam. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that beam. What I'm thinking of doing here is just, I'm gonna make a new layer and I'm gonna go ahead and just use the polygonal lasso to create kind of a, um, just a triangular um, beam that's gonna come down here and surround the cow. I'm gonna go ahead and fill that with um, uh, red here. Deselect, and I want that beam, it's gonna, I want it to be on top of the cow, so it looks like it's kind of surrounding the cow, but I need the beam to be transparent. So I'm gonna change the opacity of that level layer, so that I'll call this beam, and let's change the opacity till it looks nice. Okay, that looks pretty good. I think that would get the, the point across that we've got a beam. And in fact, I should be able to move this lower so it surrounds the cow. Okay, I'll go with that. So what I want to do is have this beam, well, after the sky comes in, I want the beam to come down from the ship. So I want the saucer to be on top of the beam. And if you recall with Photoshop, the top layers are in front, the bottom ones are in back. So I'm going to move the saucer above the beam. So now I could have the beam looking like it's, it's you know, coming, coming down. But what's weird is notice it's poking up above the saucer. Now I want it to look like it's, it's kind of um, emerging here. I guess it's kind of strange because it's, it's uh, wide and small, but I, we'll just, we'll just go with that. But what I want to do is mask this stuff off. So what I can do is let's make another layer and I want the same color of the background. So I'm going to select um, that color and I can do that using the eye drop. And now it's select that exact color and I can create a rectangle that will be um, the full width and height that I need covered. Now you don't necessarily see this right now. And oh, I need to change the, this rectangle. I don't want it to have an outline. 
So if I hide my background, notice I have this mask here, essentially, that's blocking the beam and it'll block the cow, but the saucer is on top. So what I wanna do is make sure that the saucer is the in totally in front, and then I've got this, and I've got my beam. And so then if I have my beam, and it drops down, it'll go there, and then I could bring the cow up as well as the beam, and it'll be hidden. Okay. So I'm gonna start everything in the position I'd like to begin in. So I don't want the beam showing, so I'm actually just gonna move it up and out of the way. I'm gonna move the saucer off to the side and off the screen. Notice I don't see the beam because it's behind this rectangle. And then I've got my, my cows in position. So once everything's where I want it to be, I'm gonna go ahead and save this quick. All right, now that I have everything where I'd like it to be, I'm gonna go ahead and make my animation. I wanna make sure my timeline is open. And if you don't have that, you can look under Window Timeline to find it. And I want to create a frame animation. So to do that, make sure that that is showing. Originally, it'll often say Create Video Timeline, but we wanna make sure it's Create Frame Animation and click it. If for some reason you're in the Create Video Timeline, there are going to be three little buttons down, boxes down here you can click and it would convert it into a, a frame animation. So in this first frame, I need to make sure that everything is where I'd like it to start. So I have my saucer off the screen. So there it is, it's right there. And I have my beam and rectangle in place. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new frame and move my saucer to where I'd like it to be. Okay, now I would like to tween between these. And to do that, I go here to the hamburger menu, tween, and I think I'd like to be pretty smooth. So I'm gonna go ahead and make 10 frames and say, okay. And I can preview that if I'd like. Okay. Now on this frame, I'd like it to stay here and then I'd like it to start dropping the beam down. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, new frame, and I'm gonna move the beam to the final position. So I move the beam down to cover the cow, and I want that to be pretty slow. So when I tween this, I'm probably gonna go maybe even 20 frames and say, okay. And let's see what that looks like. Okay, and I realize the beam, it looks a little weird up top. I'm just gonna go with this for this example. Okay, so we've got the, the cow covered. And now I'd like the beam and the cow to be pulled into the spaceship. So I am going to do new frame and I will move both the beam and the cow up. And I can select both layers by clicking on one holding the control and click on the other. So now I have both layers selected and I should be able to move them at the same time. So I'm gonna move that up there. I wanna make sure, I'm just gonna make sure it's fully gone, okay. And I wanna tween that. I also want that to be fairly slow. So I'm going to say tween, 20 would be fine. Let's say okay, Let's see how that looks. And then I think I'd like the, the ship to fly away. So on that last frame, I will say new frame and I'll move my saucer off the screen and tween that. And that I'll just do 10 again. Let me hit play and see how this goes. All right, I think that's pretty good. 
Now, if I'd like to do other things like move these around just a little bit, just to kind of make them wiggly, I could go into each individual frame and move these guys just a little bit to make them a little bit more random. Um, I think in this case, I'm just gonna leave it basic. Uh, so I'm gonna make sure to save it as my Photoshop file so that I have my original if I wanna go in and um, change it at all. or if it crashes or whatever, I've got everything. And then I want to export it by going File, Export, Save for Web Legacy. Make sure it is set to GIF. I'm gonna let mine loop forever and I'm gonna say Save. And I'll leave this on my desktop. So let's see what that looks like. Now looping forever, it's a little weird that the cow appears again. I might want to add something in between, but um, I think this kind of demonstrates you can do simple tweening to um, piece them together and kind of tell a story.